My name is Shane Gollop, a Customer Solution Advisor with SAP, and this is a quick demo to showcase the native RF barcoding capabilities in warehouse management in SAP s Cloud Public Edition. Note, there are other warehouse scanning options available, including using the iOS Warehouse Operator app and also interfacing to third-party scanning solutions. The demo starts with a logistics operator creating an inbound delivery to the warehouse. Now, he'll do this via stock transfer, but it can be also be done by a purchase order delivery or electronically using an ASN or advance shipment notice. Next, the warehouse supervisor would check for pending inbound deliveries. He then checks the goods are there and carries out a goods receipt to put them in the goods receipt location. His next job is to give the package a handing unit and create a put away task for the warehouse operator. The warehouse operator will then use his mobile device to pick up the product using the pick list document to scan the product and confirm the quantity. They then will take the product to the required put away location, scan the product again, confirm the quantities put away and scan the put away location. Then we'll finish off with the warehouse supervisor who can then use the warehouse monitor app to confirm the stock is in the correct location. Let's start with a logistics operator going to the stock single material screen. And they're going to do a stock transfer. So enter a part number, TG11, for example, or we can scan it directly from here. And we'll pick this storage location and do a transfer stock in plant. We'll transfer some stock from 171A to warehouse 175W. And we'll choose quantity of three. Click on post, and this creates an inbound delivery document. So this is now ready for the warehouse supervisor. The warehouse supervisor can go into change inbound deliveries. And then if they select the correct warehouse, they can see a list of pending deliveries. And there's R1 inbound delivery ready to be put away. So the warehouse supervisor goes into this. The first thing they need to do is unpack the items. And they're going to create a handing unit to put the product into a carton. So let's select the packaging material. And we'll scroll down to carton. And we'll put the total quantity of three into this one carton and click on create. Now, if we select the product and we can actually click on the handling units and we can see we've got a handling unit ID for the carton. Next thing the supervisor is going to do is goods receipt the product to acknowledge it, that it's in the goods receipt area. Then he has to create a task to put the product away. This can be done through an automatic process or we can do it manually. In this case, we're going to do it manually and select a destination bin. And let's scroll down and select the general storage bin. And we'll put all three into the same location. This has created a warehouse task for us and it's been sent to the operator's mobile device. You can go and have a look at the list of warehouse tasks. We've got this one warehouse task here for our product. And um, if you look at the details of it, we can see the destination bin and destination handling unit. It can be confirmed from here, but it's also been sent to the warehouse operator who's going to process this from their mobile device. So here's the mobile device, and to the right is the put away list with the barcodes. So the operator scans into their device and clicks on the inbound process and put away. They're going to put away by the warehouse order number. And on the document, they can scan the warehouse order. And that takes them to the transaction. Next thing they need to do is scan the product that they're picking up which is TG11, so they scan that. 
that acknowledges the product, confirm the quantity that they're picking up, then they go to the destination location, scan the product again, confirm the quantity that they're putting away into that location, and then scan the destination bin from the put away list. This put the product in the desired location. So if now we switch back to the warehouse supervisor, and they can use the warehouse monitor to check the stock to confirm that it's in the correct location. Enter the warehouse number. This can default, of course. And let's go into stock and bin. And we'll look at the available stock and we'll just check TG11. And then we see at the bottom line here, where we've got our quantity of three for our handling unit being put away into storage bin SG01-general. And here's the summary of the details from the bottom part of the screen here with the quantity three. So in this demo, we were able to create the inbound delivery by the logistics operator or by a third party. Where our supervisor can look at their inbound deliveries, process a goods receipt, create a handling unit for putting the product away into a package, and a put-away task for the warehouse operator to execute on their mobile device. Then the warehouse operator uses his mobile device to pick up the product, confirm the product that they're picking up, then go to the desired location, scan the product again, confirm the quantity and the storage location or bin that they're putting the product away in. And then finally, when the stock has been processed, the supervisor can go and review the stock that's in the warehouse location to check that it's correctly recorded. Thank you for your time.